Gary. He's been one of the better enough. players on the UK circuit for some time. Yeah, he's got deep in the main event of the uh, World Series of Poker a number of times. I think it's three years he's actually got into uh, the money. And uh, he was definitely yeah, due to get there player. or nearer and nearer about. He's actually came fourth or fifth, I think it was, at the World Series of Poker in one of the smaller events this year in London. Yeah, he's had an amazing year. Actually had, uh, I think, the second most caches at the World Series in Vegas. I think uh, either seven or eight caches. And uh, all this from a man who's known as a cash game player. Yes, very true. He's one of the rare exceptions where you can actually play both cash and tournaments. Okay, those 600 total to play. Limped pot. Christoph Haller's having none of that. Puts in the uh, raise from the small blind. <laughs> Bandos passes, as does Andy Black. Peter is cool. going to call and uh, call. see one in position. It's quite a big call with the 7-5. Yeah, they are sitting deep, though. Two, three, ace on you. Not a good flop for the ace, but he's going to have to make a continuation bet, I think. 800 to play. Have to know what Peter can do here. Very easy for Crystal Palace to have an ace. Yes, very true. He has got position. If he calls and Christoph checks, he might feel like he can take it away from him on the turn. Cool. Well, that's exactly what he's going to do. Creative play here from Peter Eastgate. Calls with seven high. I guess he's Check. improved his hand, but more importantly, Christoph's checked. This is kind of what he's thinking about. He's not just thinking about the fact that he can catch a four. That's almost like his backup plan is catching the floor. His main, main thing is to think that he, he's representing a medium ace and Christoph's likely to check it to him. And if he does, he's going to try and take it away. And that's what's happened. Good play there from Peter Eastgate.